Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining us on this uh, snowy day uh, to listen to the Wedding of the Birds presentation from Swati Biswas and also uh, some artists who are coming to us all the way from India, where I assume it's not snowing. <laughs> But Swati has uh, been a dancer and choreographer herself and over the course of the pandemic has um, taken it upon herself to put together these programs, these workshops to um, bring more art to more people. And uh, as she said, as we were talking before we got started here, um, she thinks of this as a way to uh, that people can take as education or information for their own art practices or inspiration. Um, but in any case, the workshops have been very popular and we're very happy to have her. So with that, I will pass it over to Swati. Oh, I think you're muted. <laughs> uh, thank you very much, Alison and really grateful for the support we're receiving from Belmont Public Library and many other organizations um, around Massachusetts. And I have been working with these particular artist cluster for over two years now. And they have done um, a lot of workshops with us on two styles of painting. One is Midnapur Patachitra painting that they're going to show us today. Another one is called um, Kalihat Patachitra painting that is, um, you know, very different from this one. But the command, uh, common uh, characteristics of both are that they both use um, natural dye that the artists are making um, still today at their home. Uh, using local uh, flora and fauna and some other materials like, like you know, um, soil from crabs burrow, you know. So many interesting facts that I came to know through my, uh, through my interaction and conversation with the artist. So thank you all again for joining today. Uh, what I do is I go over a very short presentation just to orient you, give you a little bit of background about this particular art form. And then I will hand it over to the artists. So today we have Tagur Chitrakar. Uh, she is an award-winning artist, artist from Midnapur, West Bengal, and her daughter, uh, Kushi Chitrakar, who is also a budding artist. Um, so they will show us uh, the painting, they will show us some basics of the dye, how they make it. Uh, and also when we go to them, at the backdrop where they're sitting is the actual story with its, with its full, full glory, right? These stories can be done within a one foot by one foot or, you know, six, seven feet long. That's the beauty of Patachitro. Um, art that you can build on and make it a really long scroll. Um, so that is something to kind of look at, but she will show us a much simpler form that she can teach us within this one hour uh, or little over one hour window. And, uh, and uh, we'll just connect uh, with her that way. So let me uh, share my screen and um, Tell you a little bit about the style of painting. Can you all see my screen? Yes? Yes. yes. Okay, thank you. Um, I'm going to put it in presentation mode. So today's workshop is Midnapur workshop and um, and also this particular style is called Patachitra style, which comes from the word Patta means cloth and Chitra means painting. Because in the in the older uh, at the older time, it used to be started on cloth, and then you know it could be rolled into um, a scroll, and they typically take this scroll and go to different uh, homes in their village to talk about, um, talk about different themes, right? 
it could be religious, social, festivals, local culture, folklore, uh, or other nature-based fun themes like like today's today's topic, which is a wedding of the birds. Of course, it's a it's a story, but through that they kind of talk about local birds and uh, and how they interact, and um, also the 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 not the full ecosystem, but the interaction between the smaller birds and and the uh, the the higher up the bigger birds who kind of you know prey on this um, smaller birds that sort of thing um, during covid-19 and 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 this medium has been used as an educational medium and it is still being used as an educational medium in those villages uh, during COVID-19, they made a huge pandemic-related theme, which they used and took it to different places to talk about what to do, what not to do, public safety, you know, in a very layperson's term. Um, so with that, this is some basics for you to know. I wanted to show a few Patacitra uh, painting done by these artists, um, and uh, these particular styles are being done in Midnapur, West Bengal, but there are other parts of West Bengal, and those Patachitra styles are slightly different. Um, I have never found, um, I, I have never worked with the artists directly from those particular styles, so I do not have much information on those, but I know that um, they look very different. However, the, this artist cluster is one of the most active uh, Patachitra clusters in West Bengal. And I show some of, some of their work for you. So they usually paint these stories. They take it to different festivals and fairs. They sell those. Um, of course, that's their main um, source, of, uh, source of earning. But also, this is another picture where they used this uh, this sort of their their painting style to decorate a hockey stadium in Bhubaneswar in Odisha, which is which is a neighboring state. So, um, and um, you will see this is this is Tagore Bodhi. Uh, she will be our instructor today. This is Bapida. I call them Dada and Didi, which is older brother and older uh, uh, and older sister. Uh, just just because uh, you know out of respect, I really don't know their age, <laughs> but just out of respect, that's our custom. And this is their older daughter who, who is married and uh, right now living with, with her husband's family, um, but she she's really a great artist. Uh, but also today joining us is their younger daughter, um, Kushi Chitrakar, who is actually um, painting and doing a really great job. Some of our paintings have been in different exhibitions around Massachusetts and currently several of uh, Tagore Bodhi and um, Kushi's paintings are showing in Newton City Hall uh, in their first floor gallery. Um, I wanted to show some of the some of the uh, photos of uh, of the birds uh, that they talk about in their story. Uh, however, in their painting, it's not realistic painting. It's 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 a, a kind of a cartoonish form. So don't try to find exactly similar looking birds. But I just thought it to I I will take that take this opportunity to name some of the birds um, that are found locally in West Bengal, Midnapur. Um, another thing is they are really, really um, doing this as a sustainable art form, and they just don't use that term because because they are doing it, they're living it. But when I looked at it, I, I talked to them and I started learning more and more. I can I, I realized, oh my gosh, this is this is such a wonderful way. So I will um, point you to these. These are dried coconut shells. So we take out the coconut, you know, the flesh, if you will, we eat it, but then the coconut shell is used as color mixing bowls or pellet. Uh, so they, they don't buy plastic pellets or anything. They make their own dye 
and um, also uh, they only buy the paper and the brushes but they put some cloth on the back of those potochitra to make it really durable and foldable uh, so those are also uh, um, uh, recycled uh, cotton cloth uh, some of the commonly used sources for dyes are you know blue flower clitoria red flower hibiscus yellow from turmeric roots yellow marigold flower uh, orange is also from another type of marigold flower green is from different types of leaves in the india um, from the area pink is from berries from indian spinach which you can also buy here in some of the indian grocery stores uh, adhesive is also from a certain type of fruit uh, and they mix this adhesive with these colors with this juices from these flowers and plants which acts as fixative um, so the the paintings are really bright and it stays the color stays like that uh, for a very 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 long time uh, black is from either burnt rice uh, or sometimes from from the from the shoot of the indian lamp um, and then white is from calcium carbonate or rice powder. And also I very recently came to know that the white also comes from the, the, the soil from the crabs burrow. It's the crabs that, that are found in, in local ponds in their region. Um, so paintings are mainly done on art paper uh, using natural dyes, but they also do dupatta, saris, wooden trays, wooden spatula, decorative metal kettles, and uh, brass plates uh, by uh, other commercial dyes like um, fabric paint, um, oil paint, um, etc. cetera. Um, again, some of the examples of painting that uh, we have seen, I have some of those here. Um, again, the Potochitra family today joining us is Tagore Chitrakar, Bapi Chitrakar, Kushi Chitrakar. And I really thank all of you and Belmont Public Library. With that, I will hand it over to the artists so that they can show us their magic today. Thank you. Um, also, for each of you, can you pin the video uh, of when the artists come on, on screen so that their, their screen is the largest one? So. Thank you. Yep, I will spotlight them for everyone. Thank you. I will be acting as a translator um, and I'll try not to interfere too much, but please put your questions in the chat so that I can keep an eye and uh, try, to, try to get those answers to the best of my ability. We like to be one of the Camera to kick to pitch on a shot at the hobby. At the making the Shuru got the parabodi. Tomas Shuru got it at the paro, huh? Amra to my heart, Dick the Pachina. Okay. Can you see it? Yes. You can see it. You can see it. You can see it. No, it's okay. 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 Start. 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 So they are showing turmeric root now, 
and uh, how they make make the yellow color from the turmeric root camera ta ke na arektu boudir hat ta jate dekha jay shiram korte hobe bhai yes ha thik ache thik ache eta hocche khata boldi ei khata bollo hocche ki ei holur rang ta eshe ei khata bollo ta ota neto kore ros ber koriye nartil wala te rakho hoy tarpor ke rode diye kaaj korte hoy she is showing that the turmeric root is used for yellow color so green is from a, a local plant the leaves from a local plant it's a legume kind of plant so she is crushing the leaves in her hand by by her two hands and then squeezing the juice and uh, that's the green juice that they use of course they mix it mix it with the um with the gum yeah so now she's showing the uh, the clitoris flower uh, the the for the blue color and of course this is just for demonstration uh, because they have to do it in in large scale um when those fruits and flowers are you know available seasonally he's doing the marigold flowers uh two types of marigold flowers one is used for orange one is used for um light yellow bodhi oi lal pata ta ache lal ta to ache karon ei koi sabe ke lal ta ke hoy bola pita ache na eta kono pa ache ni eta kaacha hoye ache amader eta kaaj lagana ache ei ta ache sei je so she is showing us the berries these are not ripe yet this is the uh, chinese spinach berries when it when it is ripen it almost looks like the blueberries um, and and it gives the pink color so that's another marigold uh, flower for for lighter yellow bishesh kore sob kichu hocche ei je rong gulo amader je narkel malate diye rakha hoy rojre moto kintu sob color er shonge ei je bel ei bel ta ke kete er bhitore dana ache actually camera ta ke na arektu upore korte hobe tomar hat ta dekha jacche na ha so she is showing us the uh, showing us the wood apple which which uh, has a seed and the adhesive comes from that seed it's not again it's not ripe yet so that's why she she is not showing us the seed inside it um but it's a very hard fruit um that that you can cut and and use that seed 
and extract the gum from there. Everything is very manually done for this dye making. <laughs> now she's going to show us uh, how to how to paint this this particular story. Um, yes i think this is good so she is going to show us different different birds and different motifs that is used to paint this entire birds um wedding of the bird story to me alada alada chobi gulo dekhabe to palki talki gulo dekhabe to so she is showing a palanquin which is a type of carriage that is used to carry brides and grooms uh, to the wedding venue and this is one of the very central uh, central feature of any of the wedding stories that they make um, so in all the examples i'll share my presentation with you in the in all the examples of a wedding story you will see and the palanquin of course the shape and the color etc varies uh, based on the storyline um, so this is just a square box that uh, people carry uh, on their shoulder while inside the bride and grooms are sitting um, of course this is a wedding wedding of the birds so there will be two birds sitting inside this palanquin ভুলছি <laughs> খুশি <laughs> হয়েছে <laughs> so she is <clears throat> excuse me she is showing us um, a particular part of the story um, so this is this is like a hawk type of bird that she is painting now and initially the story uh, the storyline goes like this this is waiting of the sparrows so the smaller birds and birds who don't attack each other uh, they were all invited to the to the uh, wedding in, uh, wedding celebration but this big bird was not invited um, so <clears throat> what happened is uh, he got really really mad and he threatened uh, to kill all the small birds um, so after that they included him saying like oh we're sorry uh, we excluded you please come join us and uh, we would like to have you uh, you know grace our occasion so then he got really happy and then he promised to help carrying the palanquin uh, on his back so that's how she's uh, you know showing us some of the major motifs of this story 
বৌদি ওই হলুদ কৌটোটা একটু সরাও কারণ ওটাতে একটু না ঢাকা পড়ে গেছে হ্যাঁ হ্যাঁ ওকে ওকে আউটলাইন হেল্পফুল so that he can be uh, integrated and be friends with um, with this um, smaller birds তুমি কতগুলো ছোট পাখিও একটু দেখিও সাইডে সাইডে আর ওই চোখটা আর একটু সাদার কাজ যদি দেখাও হ্যাঁ হ্যাঁ জাস্ট একটু বলে দিচ্ছি সো নাও শি ইস পেইন্টিং দ্য স্মলার বার্ডস ইন সাইড দ্য প্যালেন্কিন অ্যান্ড এগেন দ্য কালার্স ইউ ক্যান ইউজ অ্যাকর্ডিং টু ইউর লাইকিং ইট ডাজেন্ট হ্যাভ টু বি রিয়েলি রিয়েলিস্টিক so that's why it's a great way to kind of you know uh, let your imagination run wild and pick your favorite color combinations when you are recreating this painting uh, on your own uh, for the people who are joining from here uh, you can use acrylic color um, that is very bright and um, much easier to Uh, you know manage it it usually comes out really great um, if you use acrylic color and i actually have done um, used acrylic color on paper but also on fabric so you can try to use this on on an older piece of fabric just to see how it comes out um, and um, you know এটা কি পাখি আঁকছো তারপরে চড়ই পাখি মাছ রাঙা পাখি মাছ 
So she's just showing, uh, showing us different kind of bard motifs that you all can use in, in your painting. By the care to golf, a So, just so, just so you all know, uh, they have to rent, um, rent this uh, place uh, well, not the place, the laptop. Uh, for their uh, for conducting these workshops for us, so they don't have always control over the background noise and uh, anything like that. So um, some little inconvenience, as you can hear the horns um, and uh, people are talking. So now she is trying to uh, show us a kingfisher. So the kingfishers uh, from our region is bright blue color. So that's why she's uh, doing this blue. And of course, they have a very strong and long beak. কাগজের মাথার দিকটা দেখতে পাচ্ছি না একটু তোমার দিকে টেনে না সো দিস আর টু বার্ড টু স্প্যারো ইনসাইড দ্যাট uh palanquin that she's uh, showing us and um, she's actually going from one place to another just so that this first part can get dry and uh, what i also ask her uh, to show us is you know all the steps so she had the pencil drawing already done um, but also doing the coloring they they do the um they, they feel the shapes the areas first then when it's dry they come in and do the outline with black and after that they do some extra ornamentation using white so just so that she can show us all the steps um within within the <laughs> allocated time uh she's moving around the overall canvas and as soon as one part is dry she can you know come back and do the next layer if you will ei lal dutu ki aple ekhon okay 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 so those are the feet of the big hawk
another important uh, socioeconomic fact is uh, much of this artist cluster, uh, the women are uh, really, really prominent in, in as practicing artists. Uh, of course, there are uh, male artists, but uh, as you can see that uh, women play a huge role. Um, she is a mother, a grandmother. Uh, she runs a household of probably 15 members or so, but she also travels all around India to do um, art workshops, uh, to present their painting and so on and so forth. And very, very recently, a few months ago, she was recognized to be one of the authentic Patochitra artists from West Bengal. Uh, who who is doing this kind of uh, painting? So, um, okay. Background Okay. So she's doing like a green background of of this overall painting, and this is a different shade of green that um, she's using here. Onno onno green gulo kigo? Na onno tagi je gulo kolle. Halka korechi? Ha? Ekta deep korechi ekta halka korechi. Okay. Dutu rongka dutu rongka na kolle? Deep to halo lagi. Kunda deep halo halo lagi. Kunda halka halo 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 lagi. Mane oi gulo ki tumi puro bhotti korle thebe pore? Ha, bol na ekhen thek to khali thalbe. Also, it takes a little longer uh, for this to dry in the humid weather. Um, so um so that's why she's giving it a little bit time to go to the next step to me batch pakhi ta kai na outline ar ektu decoration koro Next, I will check the outline. Okay. 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 Okay.
Okay, so now she is starting to do the outline to some of the motifs that have uh, start uh, started to dry. Mm -hmm. Kon color er brush use kuchhu? Kon number er? Not color er. What the number? Three one zero two zero one zero. Okay, one zero. And it just act a zero. No, I have a zero. Okay. Do you have a zero? So she is using a zero size brush right now for for this outline.
बोधी एटाओ की जीरो ना डबल जीरो यूज कर चो सो नाउ शी इज यूजिंग अ ट्रिपल जीरो ब्रश टू डू द फाइन फाइन लाइंस एंड टू टू डेकोरेट यू नो इनसाइड दोस लिटिल शेप्स Also, another interesting fact is that these artists they don't add their signature or name on their painting, and they work as a cluster. But each one of them uh, try to have a very distinct style, uh, distinct motifs. Sometimes that you know, once you have seen enough, you can just tell like, oh, this is from that artist. um because they they work as a cluster so someone makes the painting someone makes the color or maybe a few of them make they make the color together and the artists use the color paint their own painting but then uh, someone helps with putting the cloth on the back um and i have seen videos where you know someone on a very sunny day they need they need sun for that that step to happen uh, they take like 10 15 20 20 paintings and you know just put cloth using some kind of adhesive again a homemade adhesive on the back and then let it dry under the sun so that's that's another step and then uh, there are people in the family who takes painting from maybe four five six families and take them to a particular event or fair or mela uh, doesn't mean that he or she is only selling arts painted by them but they also take art painted by their family so everything works as like a community and that's why these artists do not add name some of the artists recently have started adding their names on each each of their painting which is which is great 
but uh, typically they don't. Um, so. ডিজাইনটার মধ্যে সাদাটা দেখাতে পারবে ওকে ওকে ঠিক আছে লার্জার পেন্টিং all the different techniques that that um, go into each motif of the painting so uh, some of these um, you know really full blown painting like you have seen on the poster um, really does day, uh, days to finish um, and a lot of focus and um, another um, another difficulty that they face is they don't have like a studio so basically they work in their um in their front yard on their um a terrace or something like that so if the weather is not good okay. if it is raining uh, that really is really difficult for them and of course there is um there is the summer and the hot weather but i never think they stop for um that but rain is really something that uh, hampers lot of lot of the steps in their work so are you 
Okay. So she is saying that she is going to just, you know, complete this motif uh, on the body of this bird and then show us the next layer. Um, हाँ, मतलब शारीरिक आटे उप दे आच्छे, आई दश मिनट में तो न रेखो जाते एक टू के उप जो दी क्वेश्चन करे किचु प्रश्नों थाके। Feel free to put your uh, any questions that you may have in the chat uh, so that we can ask that while she is um, you know doing the painting. See, so basically, the decoration is really lines and dots, but together that creates a really um, elevated look. शादा की दिए बनी है चेक तू बोलो शादा कलर टा शादा कलर की तीन रोकों दिए बनी है जी वास्तव में तो शादा जी चाल आठों चाल उटा बोला है वो तो ठीक है शादा का नहीं हो जी बेची था तब वो जी सॉन्ग को बोलो so what she is saying that this white color comes from um, comes from uh, calcium carbonate uh, which in local language we call tune and uh, then uh, so that is the majority of it and then little bit of conch shell um, uh, dust and third part is uh, the soil from the crabs burrow so all three are mixed to get this white color Um, we have a question in the chat too from Akshaya. Asking, yeah. What is your name and what do you mix the flower colors with to make it a paste? Yeah, I am responding to that one. I'm I'm writing it. Oh, yeah. sorry. <laughs> no, that's okay. I, I I stopped because I was talking. <laughs> um,
she's double layering the decoration so first the black dot was a little larger and then she's just adding the white and to me that that really um brings out the beauty of these paintings to a great extent बोधी इटा एक बार एक टू तूले धोरे सामने थे के देखा हो और तार पौरे तुम्ही जो दी एक टू पालकी टा डेकोरेशन टा देखा हो कारण पालकी टा तो खूब इम्पोर्टेंट सो दिस इज़ हाउ इट विल लुक फ्रॉम व्हेन यू आर लुकिंग एट इट फ्रॉम द फ्रंट एंड देन शी इज़ गोइंग टू शो अस अ लिटिल बिट मोर um, and then we can open it up uh, for, um, you know, discussion and um, question and answer. So um, we have a question from Ann Paulson. Uh, are all the paintings done on paper and then adhered to fabric or are paintings done directly on fabric? Yes, and uh, so this kind of painting that she is showing us today using the natural dye, it is done on paper, but they also use fabric paint and um, does um, stole and sari, um, wooden tray, all of that. Um, and sometimes they also use oil oil painting to do like a wall wall hanging decorative items. Um, they also use a lot of um, aluminium um, items like a small kettle um, and then use um, either um, oil based paint or fabric paint on those cups plates but again those are mainly decorative items because they do not have that technology really to make it you know durable and safe both at the same time um i i have a couple of items probably somewhere in my home i can i can try to um, grab it and show you while she's doing the next step
সো বৌদি পাঁচ মিনিট মতন আর একটু দেখাও তারপরে ক্লোজ মানে ক্লোজ না তারপরে একটু সবাই ভিডিওতে এসে একটু কথাবার্তা বলি কেউ যদি কিছু জিজ্ঞাসা করতে চায় বৌদিটা হয়ে গেলে একটু তুলে দেখিও যাতে একটু বোঝা যায় ছোট তো জায়গাটা হ্যাঁ হ্যাঁ ডিমার্কেটু বিকজ we only have limited time but uh, you can you can get kind of an idea uh, and then just compare it with the photo that is on the poster and you will see um, you know you'll get an idea even though she's very fast and everything but uh, doing that sort of intricate busy heavy work takes so much time and patience আর then maybe um, whoever wants to turn your camera on and um, you know ask questions to them and i can show some of the items actually this is from from these artists so this is a wooden tray that um, that is from them i have it uh, here in boston and this is another tray and for this they use the paint but then they varnish it just just so that the color stays and you can you can actually wash it not in um, washer dryer but just a, you know light hand wash and this is um, a stole or we also use it as dupatta hand painted by them using fabric color um and uh, that is on silk this is on cotton and of course if you have time um you can swing by to newton city hall there are quite a few art collection done by uh, tagur chitrakar khushi chitrakar and few other artists from uh, from india uh will be there until uh, march 30th so that's that but i i'm going to open the floor for any of you to ask question and i'll be happy to translate and moderate <laughs> 